What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. We the market, one trade at a time. We the Market Marauders Investment Channel helps you find best deals in the market. If there's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm promote the videos. All right, so I'll be going over my top penny picks for the week. Uh, so let's jump into it. So the first one we got ticker sign TAC. That is for Trans Atlanta. Uh, if we look, they did touch seven dollars and fifty cents this week. Uh, if you are familiar, the market is closed. Uh, it was closed early for the holidays, so just bear that in mind. So we'll be looking at this on Monday for a potential uh, morning mover. So they ended at seven dollars and thirty-seven cents, which is pretty close to the seven dollars and fifty cent range. Uh, overall, they are bullish. Uh, my bullish indicators are if the moving average 10 line is above moving average 50 and 100. So that's one of my indicators. A second indicator is if VWAP is above the moving average 10 line. So both of those indicators being hit, I would say it is bullish at this current moment, the time of this video. But we don't like to stop there on the channel. We like to give some background information. Uh, so background information on them. Uh, that They announced 6% common share dividend increase and sale of assets to Transatlanta Renewables. Uh, so basically they're changing their different business uh, practices and things they're doing. Uh, click on this link uh, and see what's going on. This is all public information, by the way. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking for this, this is just press releases from the website. Um, so on here it says... Uh, that the board of directors approved a 6% uh, increase on the common share uh, dividends for the quarter ending March 31st, 2021. Uh, quarter dividend of 0.045 uh, per common share represents an annualized dividend of 18 cents per common share, an increase of 1 cent of common share. Uh, so pretty good overall um, that they have that increase and Definitely, if you're into dividends, I have a link down below for a course that you guys can go and learn all about dividends and how to trade dividends. Also, when you're down there, I have a Patreon group. Uh, it's a private group, so make sure you guys join if you want to learn more about stocks. I give daily watch lists uh, when the market's open. Also, I have live streams as well if you're interested in that. And make sure you go check out some of the gear on Sus Clothing Company. I have a link down below as well for that. So this is the clothing company uh, that I have. And you guys can go buy some of the merch on there and support the channel. Next, we have Tricasan AIM uh, for Immunotech Incorporated. They did touch two dollars and twenty cents this week. They ended at two oh seven, uh, so not too bad, not too far from where they actually were at. Uh, seems like once they touch this two twenty, which seems to be a resistance for them, that they went down. Uh, they are bullish at the time of this video. Barely though, noted by the moving average ten line, big above moving average. Uh, 50 and 100 line, <clears throat> which is this purple and yellow line. VWAP is still high on them, so I still expect uh, some more increase from them as Monday comes. Background information on them. Uh, it says that uh, Institutional Revo Review Board announces public notification of potential enrollment of subjects. Uh, so they announced today uh, that post pandemic long haul portion of an active AMP 511. Uh, expanded Access Program, or EAP protocol, received approval from the institution, Institutional Review Board uh, for public notification of potential patient enrollment. Uh, so eligible patients enrolled in the trial received treatment uh, with AIMS flagship pipeline drug, Amplogen. So uh, AIM announced in October that the uh, ME slash CFS, so... That's what these two stand for. They just read the acronyms on that. Uh, clinical trial received IRB approval uh, to include patients previously diagnosed with uh, the pandemic, which caused, you know, the pandemic disease. So they basically tested positive, um, but now demonstrate uh, post-acute infection, chronic fatigue, uh, like symptoms. Uh, these patients are commonly referred to long haulers uh, because the persistence of their uh, symptoms. So basically they may, you can say, a therapeutic uh, to help treat the people who have gotten over the pandemic uh, but are still having symptoms and they're calling their long haulers. So basically saying, you know, if you still have fatigue and all these other symptoms going on, this is something that they're using to treat those. So I think it's uh, still in the pretty um, big niche category. So I would consider it with Anything in the medical field, in my opinion, that revolves around the pandemic, I think definitely has uh, potential to go up, especially if more updates come come along. 
So that's why I have them on my watch list because I definitely think uh, when more updates come about this long haulers or what they're calling them or this trial that they're doing that it could potentially have the stock go up even further. Next, we have ticker sign AMPE, uh, and this is for Ampio Pharma. They are bearish at the time of this video, denoted by moving average 10, being below moving average 50, and uh, but above moving average 100. Uh, so I would say that they are bearish. VWAP is still above moving average 10, so that's one of the indicators that's still positive. But the second indicator of the moving average 10, uh, I would say, is still uh, negative. So until this moving average 10 crosses moving average 50, um, you know, hopefully it'll bounce off of this moving average uh, 100 line and go back up to be positive, but we'll have to wait to see uh, how it performs on Monday. Day of the week at $2.12. After hours went up three more cents uh, to end at $2.15. So overall uh, positive in that regards. They did touch $2.97, so they have quite a ways to go uh, before they go back up. So background information on them. Uh, it says they demonstrate safety. So this came out the 17th, so it may be, you know, old news, but I think it's still relevant to the company's profile as a whole. Uh, MPO demonstrates safety in patients uh, who are suffering from the pandemic and initiates global clinical trial for uh, <clears throat> intravenous uh, Ampion. So it says, based on data review, Safety Monitoring Committee, or SMC, found the IV treatment of MPO to be safe uh, and well tolerated for 90 days following treatment. Uh, the study met its primary safety endpoint after five days of IV uh, Ampion treatment and after, and again after three months with no remarkable safety data differences between the MPO treatment and SOC control groups. So. It says the phase one study uh, was randomized, controlled study of adults hospitalized with severe uh, pandemic. Uh, the primary endpoint uh, for the study was evaluated after a five-day treatment period and was safety uh, was followed for additional three months. Uh, half the patients received the IV Ampion uh, plus the standard care, uh, the standard of care SOC for the pandemic, uh, while the other half received SOC alone. The following highlights were observed, and those are the highlights. Uh, that I read beforehand. So it seems like their trial is going okay, uh, but I'd like to see some more updates from them. Uh, if they get more positive news coming out of the pipeline uh, in the coming you know, weeks or the coming month or even to start the new year, I think they definitely have potential to continue to go up uh, even further from where they're currently at. Lastly on here, we have Chickasaw AES, A-E-S-E, -A -E -S -E, which is still one of my favorite ones um, as far as penny stocks are concerned. And they're allied esports entertainment. Uh, they touched one dollar ninety four cents uh, last week, and then ended the week at a dollar eighty nine cents. So still pretty high. After hours went down uh, to a dollar eighty three cents. So went down six cents after hours. Overall, still on a bullish uptrend. VWAP is also above the moving average ten. So both indicators uh, being met as a bullish uptrend, uh, in my opinion. Now you all can use uh, whatever type of analysis that you all like. Those are just two indicators uh, that really haven't failed me uh, so far as far as far as trading penny stocks or uh, you know stocks in general. So I think those two indicators are really good and they're free. Uh, you know you can go Webull. You know I have a link down below if you want to sign up uh, get four free stocks. But if you all want to just do Webull in general, you can go on Webull's website and use these exact same charts with these same indicators. Uh, and most of your other uh, trading platforms or just looking up stocks in general will have these indicators because they're not like any special ones you have to use to unlock or, you know, find some version of an indicator that somebody made on a special uh, type of, you know, system. VWAP and moving average, you know, are pretty common um, things that majority of, you know, these trading platforms have. So, uh, moving average 10 being above moving average 50 and 100, uh, which are good metrics. Moving average 10, uh, going on here, we see uh, VWAP is above as well. Background information on them. Uh, so, on the 17th, they said uh, uh, Trovo and Allied Sports team up for mobile tournaments in December. Uh, so, Trovo Holiday Royale uh, to feature three Battle Royale duos competition in nine days and more than 50,000 in prizes for players and rewards uh, for viewers. So, uh, you know, I think this is a pretty good overall. It says uh, the Trovo Holiday Royale starts with Fortnite on December 20th through 22nd, uh, continues with PUBG Mobile on December 23rd, and December 26th through 27th. It includes Call of Duty Mobile for December 28th 
uh, through 30th. All competition and live streams will begin at 12 p.m., uh, except for the December 27th PUBG Mobile Finals, uh, which begin at 3 p.m. Uh, the closed qualifiers and $10,000 finals for each tournament will be streamed live on, and then they have a link right here. So, I think gaming is a huge market. I think it's going to continue to grow as time goes on. It's not really going anywhere. I think, you know, as more and more people, you know, expand, uh, we get more consoles like the new Xbox and the new PS5, as well as, um, you know, upgraded consoles, more people switching to PC as well, PC builds, PC components being a lot cheaper, um, phones in general, like the iPhone 12 coming out with more capable uh, components to do gaming. I think gaming in general is going to continue to grow. I think this company is poised to take advantage of that moving forward. They already have a lot of big names on their side like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty, as well as Fortnite, uh, which a lot of people already currently play. So I think it's just a matter of time before, you know, this company catches on um, and, you know, they're recognized for all the things that they've been doing uh, in the gaming uh, and esports community. So with that being said, those are the ones for this week. Those are all the penny stocks. Make sure you go check out the Patreon group. Make sure you go check out some gear on the website as well. And if you'd like to sign up for Webull, link down below as well. Hope everybody has a good holiday um, season. Make sure you're able to lock in some profits, spend some time with your family, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.